Well, we're back this week for another look at two of um, the recent purchases from the Cracker Sale. I'm joined by TRK, our principal, David Ellis, for the yearling spotlight of the week. David, how are you getting on? No, we've had a really busy week. It's a really exciting time of the year, Hazy, taking people around and showing them these yearlings that we've bought. Uh, one cult that um, has really taken my eye is Lot 231. He's by Harry Angel, who's having enormous success as a young sire in Australia. Uh, in the last week, he's been absolutely on fire. And uh, he's out of an exceed and excel mare. Uh, and um, we bought this horse off Carlaw Park. Um, and uh, he's bred by a breeder in Hong Kong that I've had a lot of success buying off. And uh, this colt, I thought, was very athletic and uh, a real two-year-old type on pedigree and to look at him. But since he's been home in the, uh, on the farm, well, has he grown and developed. Even in two weeks, I can't believe what a nice horse he is. He is just a stunning-looking colt. And uh, we're going to start breaking him in in four weeks' time. And then he'll be in the stable for a couple of weeks. And then we'll teach him how to use the starting stalls. And then we'll get him ready, give him a spell. And then we'll get him ready to run in the crack a million this time next year. Nice one, David. Um, now, I guess just quickly, you mentioned he's done really well at the farm. The grass must be growing with all this rain out there at the moment. And it must be um, an absolute heaven for some of these yearlings coming back to Tiaka at the moment. Yeah, we're having a lot of people out here at the moment to inspect the yearlings that we bought, and people just can't believe the grass, the good quality grass that the yearlings are on. It is just amazing. Fantastic. And just quickly touching on Harry Angel, because a few of our viewers out there probably don't know a lot about this horse being um, a Northern Hemisphere um, Dali Stallion. Um, he's, you mentioned he's had a couple of um, stakes winners in the last couple of weeks in Australia, um, but it sounds like um, over the past couple of years, um, his stock's been absolutely flying in the Northern Hemisphere, particularly with um, some of those um, outcross stallions um, out of Australia. So the likes of Encosta de Lago, Star, Spangled Banner and Exceed and Excel, um, who the dam um, of this horse is, um, is out of. Um, can you talk, to, talk us through Harry Angel and how he's kicking off his career? Yeah, well, you know, everybody I spoke to in Australia, they just love them. And... Um, as you say, he's been successful in the Northern Hemisphere and uh, he's already kicked off in fine form uh, with his two-year-olds in Australia. And uh, yeah, I think this is a real correct a million cult and he's got a pedigree on both sides of the page. Absolutely. Well, um, there you go. There's the Harry Angel Here We Come Bay Colt. Um, good buying there at 125000 So a 10% share you can pick up from 13500 plus GST. So as David mentioned, really good buying. He's an emerging stallion um, and we expect to see um, more winners from Harry Angel in the um, in the coming months and years. So um, it's definitely a good time to be getting on board with a with a sire, an exciting sire like that as well. So the next yearling we're going to have a look at is um, is Lot 507. Um, this is a zoo star, Shenandoah Bay Colt, um, who has also done well while being out at the farm, David. Yep. Um, this colt, um, I happened to be in his paddock this morning. Um, he is a really classy colt uh, out of a Darcy Brahma mare. Now, interestingly enough, I bought Darcy Brahma as a yearling for 1.1 million. And I think from memory, he won about 1.3, 1.4 on the racetrack. He was a champion two-year-old, champion three-year-old, and sprinter miler of the year as a four-year-old. And then we syndicated him at stud for $10 million. And he's gone on and been a very successful sire uh, and a very good broodmare sire. So this Sue Star Colt is out of a Darcy Brahma mare. Uh, it's a very, very good family. Uh, a lot of two-year-old winners on the page. So I expect this colt to be a two-year-old and to be another colt that will run 
in the Karaka Million, and he's got the scope to go on and be a 2,000 guineas colt in the spring. And uh, then we'd probably spell him, get him ready for um, the Sistema uh, in the um, autumn, and then spell again, and then get him ready for races like the 2,000 guineas. Absolutely. Well, um, Zeus uh, needs no explaining himself. Um, he's produced a, a number of Group 1 winners himself. Um, and another good example of a, of a speed sire as well. So um, there you have it. There's our, our yearlings of the week. And I, I guess just quickly, this this yearling is slightly more expensive in the upper echelon. So a $400,000 yearling, 10%, 10% share for $41,000 plus GST. Uh, but two beautiful doing cults there um, that have done well and been thriving since they've been out of the farm. And once again, um, if you want to get in touch with the team over the weekend or come out and visit any of these two horses, and I'm sure David and Karen would love to have you, we'll talk to you on the phone, um, pick up the phone and get in touch. Yeah, I think this colt is a sort of colt that could stand at stud. Uh, if he was a good horse, uh, he'd have a lot of people wanting to be involved. And um, he's the sort of colt that you could see uh, being a really good stallion. Um, and these sort of horses are worth $10, $20 million today. Uh, so we'd like to think that he was up to racing in Australia. It's only two and a half, three hour flight away. Um, it takes less time than going to Wellington and uh, there's a million dollar race in Australia every four days on average throughout the year and we want to be buying these horses and, and training them to take over there and win these good races. It was only um, uh, last year or the season before that that we won two group ones in half an hour at Rose Hill and we're going to be doing that a lot more uh, in the years ahead, and uh, we've taken a nice team of horses to Brisbane for the carnival this year, uh, where they have really top stake money, and that's the sort of thing that we'd like to do with this colt. Uh, we took Darcy Brahma to Brisbane as a two-year-old, and he won a group one there, and I could see this colt being in the same mould. Great. Well, thanks for your time, David, and thanks for taking us through those two yearlings, two um, outstanding cults from Speed Sires, um, and um, we look forward to catching you again next week as we, as we cross over and look at another two yearlings um, as well. So thanks for your time, um, and um, we'll catch you again next week. Okay, Hamish. Thank you.